Tell me why I went from a no letdown to a big time letdown again. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Lizard Build-A-Figure 2018 Spider-Man Waves Prowler. If you're trying to pick up your Marvel Legends, you can get them at Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Oh man, I'm very excited for this Prowler figure. Ooh, very cool looking piece. On the side, you get a nice image of Prowler, and on the very back, you can see a nice product shot. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now, and then you can see all the other figures from the wave. Then on this side, we get Prowler again, and the Spidey logo on the top, and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's a Prowler out of the packaging. Not looking too bad, man. I'm very stoked to have this figure. I've been wanting to add this guy to my Marvel Legends Spider-Man collection for many, many years. This is our very first Prowler figure. We've not had anything from Toy Biz of Prowler or anything from Hasbro in recent years and I think this is a pretty good looking piece. There's some things that I disagree with as far as reused parts goes but for the most part I'm pretty stoked about this piece. So let's get a closer look at that head sculpt. Now to compare this head sculpt next to some images I found online of Prowler and to discuss his bio very briefly, uh, Hobart Brown, also known as Hobby Brown, who's also Spider-Punk from another universe which I had forgot to mention before, uh, and Aaron Davis also adorned the garb of Prowler, but uh, I specifically remember Hobby Brown, um, he was a window washer, and then he lost his job, and then he used his technology, because he is a technological genius, uh, to crawl walls and to do some shoplifting, where he got busted by Spider-Man, and then him and Spidey talked it out and everything, and Spidey convinced him to not be a bad guy anymore, and then Spider-Man actually gained him as a friend, and would occasionally ask him to dress as Spider-Man in cases where Peter and Spider-Man needed to both be at the same place at the same time. Now, as far as his abilities go, he can wall crawl, he can cape glide, his talons are laced with titanium, and his gauntlets can shoot blasts, lasers, and he has all kinds of awesome fighting abilities and stuff like that to go along with it, and I really like how this head sculpt came out. I love how you can see those subtle lines sculpted right over there on the mask, so you can see that nice stretching, and I think the black, white, and purple all came out very clean on this piece too. I really like that. That looks great. I can see a lot of people making some spawn customs out of this figure, but I'm happy to have the Prowler. This looks awesome. Very pleased with that. And I really like this cape too. I believe this is a brand new cape, so I'm pretty stoked about that. You could remove that just by lifting it right over his head. It's supposed to be a very big, sloppy kind of cape, you know? Sloppy cape, but yeah. I do like it. No paint detail or anything, but as I zoom out, you can see it a little better, you know? So, pretty good looking cape. I like it, and he still has a peg hole on his back. Uh, this is, or that's actually fairly new. Uh, I don't think they have that on the uh, Spider UK, but that's where the body mold is based off of the Spider UK. But they have added the whole peg on the back, which I think is smart. I think they should always do that. We get some great looking deco right here with the yellow over the green. I think that is awesome. And you can see it's nicely painted throughout. So, you could lift that up. I got maybe a tiny little scuff. Oh, no, there it goes. See, so not too bad, but. See, I mean, I'm not even really seeing any green seeping through that, so I'm very pleased with that. That looks great. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention too is that you can go ahead and swap a Captain America Civil War Black Panther head sculpt on there. I think that works out pretty well. You know, you could try it with any other head sculpts you'd like, but yeah, I think that looks coolest to me. And looking at the arms right over here, we don't get any paint detail, which I wish we had, but I love the metallic gauntlets right there, and these talons look great, and I believe these are new as well. I really like these. Very awesome long claws right there. Those talons look fantastic, man. Yeah, same thing on this side too. We'll say I do get a little bit irritated about seeing green creeping up underneath right over there. Like I wish it had a smooth transition like that, but nah. It's kind of a nitpicky thing, but yeah, nice sculpted detail in those. And if you wanted to go grab your Machine Man, you can take these out right here and then replace them with fisted hands from Machine Man. That actually works out best. I did try it with the eel first, and I was like, oh, that doesn't match so well. But yeah, the Machine Man hands work really well. A little on the small side, right, you know? And then you have those grabbing hands, too, that you could use from Machine Man, so you could port that in there if you'd like. But the color matches perfectly, so that's pretty sweet. So yeah, you get some posing options right there. And the belt looks pretty good. 
And then, you know, for the most part, I do like the sculpted legs. I just don't like that extra bit right over there. That frustrates me because it hinders articulation. Then these guys are a bit loose, too. Or well, they're not loose right now, but, you know, when you get it out of package, you know, these shift up and down, and they fit nice and snug against that calf right there. So I'm pretty pleased with that. There's the feet. Still has the peg holes right there. Prowler butt. Now to get into the articulation, you can move his head upward pretty far, but it will pop off on you. I wish you could look up more than that, and the cape doesn't get in the way at all. It's loose enough, but yeah, if I move his head up any more than that, it will come off. It's already starting to come off, so that's a little frustrating because you want him crawling around and stuff. Putting this back on here and shifting the cape a little bit farther forward, you can make him look down very far. You also get side to side movement, of course, and not much head pivoting or no head pivoting at all. Uh, the shoulders move outward that far. You can move them down. You could rotate 360, get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, uh, the wrist all swivel, and the hinge up and down. He does have the ab crunch for. Forward, ab crunch back, waist swiveler, hips move outward that far, and he can kick forward very far, not back, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees that, again, I really want to shave off some of the plastic inside here. That really frustrates me, especially because I keep reusing this body mold. It's like, ah, that upper thigh, it's just way too much plastic right there. You see that? You see that? Anyway, it could bend only that far in. We get a calf swivel right here, and then the ankles move down. They do move up, and he does have the beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out the prowler figure, you can see that he's standing at about six and a half inches tall. Then here's Prowler next to the Pizza Spider-Man figure, and what do you think? Do you think they should have used the Pizza Spidey figure for the Prowler figure instead? Because, you know, he is supposed to be able to impersonate Spider-Man, and these two definitely look like two totally different people. You cannot imagine the same person in either of these suits over here, but at the same time, I, I kind of like having a different body mold, and this does look like Prowler to me, so I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And then here's Prowler next to the Spider-UK figure, and yeah, with these two, you can imagine a person being in either one of these suits, right? I mean, they have the same body mold. And then here's Prowler next to the superposable Spawn from McFarlane Toys. And yeah, you can see the inspiration of Spawn over here from Prowler. I mean, I think it's fairly obvious. And then here's Prowler next to the other figures from this wave that I have already reviewed. And man, what a great wave so far. And you can see this version of Hobby Brown with the Pizza Spidey mold. So maybe they should have used the Pizza Spidey mold for this figure. And then here's a Prowler figure next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey, friend. Oh, purple looks pretty good over green. And you mind if I borrow your cape? Sweet, thank you. Ooh, just need one more thing. To me, my shield! And here's Prowler up on a Mafex stand, which is actually plugged into that whole peg on his back. And one thing I did not mention earlier is that there is a peg that sticks out of the inside of this cape that you can port into the back right over there. So I should have demonstrated that earlier. Sorry, guys. But I do like this figure, even though I do have my gripes with it. I mean, I really do think now, at the end of me reviewing this, I think they should have gone with the Pizza Spidey mold. But I still like it. I think it's a fun piece to have. I like that I can interchange the hands with the Machine Man part. Parts. That's pretty cool, and I think it's a good looking piece overall, and I'm happy to finally get a Prowler figure in my Marvel Legends collection, and I think it didn't really come out too bad. It's just not eh, perfect, you know? Are any of them actually perfect? Anyway, I hope you guys thought this review was perfect. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of the review, let me know what you think of the figure, and yeah, no review is actually perfect, you know, I know that. If you want to subscribe for more Shardimus Prime videos though, please hit that subscribe button as well as hitting that notification bell, and I gotta give a big thank you to all these people over here that are supporting this YouTube channel. We'll have a winner announcement for the Patreon giveaway tomorrow, as well as the Black Panther movie wave for subscribers, so stay tuned for that announcement. Also, if you want to know my sud rating for this figure, I give it a... It's not so bad. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images of this figure, you can find that at MarvelousNews.com, as well as ShardmasPrime.net. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Short Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.